Welcome back. Blessing Ola Dimeji is a parenting associate who believes that nation building starts from the home. With the focus on parenting, she partners with parents, schools, churches, and communities. She's also the lead consultant of Imperential, a nonprofit organization. She'll be talking to us about parenting toolkit. Wow. So a toolkit uh, that I know about is one that you keep in your shed or your basement or your store where you have your spanner, your hammer, uh, spare screws and all that. So you're saying that parents have a toolkit that they need to, you know, they need to uh, visit once in a while. Yeah, good mm -hmm. morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Okay. Now, just like every other occupation, mm. have the tool, tools they use. Okay. The mechanic have what they use, okay. the doctors have what they use. The same thing with parenting too, because we realize that it's, um, we're building a nation. Okay. Every parent is building it. So the nation building we are doing. Right. So we need to understand that there are lives in our hands and we need to know what do we do with these lives. Okay. So that's where the tools So this is not a in. physical box? No, it's not. This is not a physical <laughs> box of tools. No. Uh, but not. there is a list of things that parents need to have. So yes. what's the first thing in our toolkit? All right. So the first thing in our toolkit is um, the manual. Okay. You know, the same way every product has a manufacturer, you know, we go to the manufacturer, we check the manual mm. and want to know, okay, what... What does the manufacturer have in mind, mm. you know, about this particular product? It's the same way parenting too. So for parenting here now, the manufacturer is God. Okay. You am faith-based, so okay. I believe that the manufacturer is God. Okay. So when we see some parenting challenges and we don't know what to do, we don't understand, mm. we need to ask that, okay, what does this thing mean? Mm. And how can I get the manual? Okay. And when we ask God in prayer, mm. the, the situation, when that situation becomes clear, Okay. In the place of prayer. At the same time, too, we also have a manual whereby we go to books. Okay. We go online. Mm -hmm. You click on things. You see a lot of things because we need to keep learning. You need to keep knowing a lot of things. You can't say, oh, I'm knowing it all. Okay. I'm not checking out. So you need to keep checking a lot of things. Too. All right. So uh, there's faith-based, there's science-based. So mm -hmm. I guess science-based is go online, yeah. go check, yes. or go into your books, yes. uh, doctor's manuals yes. and things like Ask that. Ask questions. So. Ask questions. Mm. All right. So that's the first thing in our toolkit, a manual. But what's the next thing? Uh, the next thing we'll be looking at is observation. Okay. You know, and the good thing about this toolkit is that you can apply it for every child. You know, children are different, but mm. this particular one, you can use it for every child. So observation is important. As parents, we need to observe our children and ask, what trait is this child exhibiting at this time? Okay. So, you know, children do different things. You can see a child talking a lot. And mm. instead of tagging the child talkative, you're saying, okay, this child might be good in public speaking. Mm. This child might be good in debating. Okay. So you have to help the child narrow it to that angle. Mm. So that's where observation comes in. And observation too helps a parent to understand when a child is slow in learning, when a child is having issues with cognitive, mm. you know, so observation is very, very key. Parents need to pause and observe a child. All right. So observation as a tool. Those are two tools for our toolkit so far. Right. Tell me there's a third. Yeah, there's a okay. third. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so values are very important. You know, values are things that guide everyone. So when we have family values, it guides what we are doing with our children. And one thing with values is values make discipline very easy. Okay. You know, a good example is if a child, if one of the values in your home is excellence, mm. and you get home and you see everywhere scattered the children's room, instead of having to shout like mm. we normally do, you know, we say, okay, come, is this room excellent? Mm. So make it excellent before I come back. Okay. And the children understand. So one thing with family values is the children all know what the value is. Depending on the kind of age the child are in, mm. they can actually even form up the values together as a family, whereby it's not only the parents saying, this is what we're doing. Mm. So honesty to when a child can be one of one value, honesty can be one value. And if a child is telling lies, mm. you know, instead of calling the child a lie, you just say, is this being honest? Mm. Is this part of our family value? So it makes discipline easy because the child already understands that, okay, I didn't do well in this certain area. Mm. Okay, and I have failed with the values of the home. So All right. Okay, one. so our toolkit is getting full. <laughs> I think we've gone through three tools already, three very important tools. We started off with the manual, yeah. and then secondly, we have the observation yeah. aspect, yeah. and then we have values. So once those are in our toolkit, our toolkit is getting fuller. Tell me about number four. Okay, so discipline. 
Okay. Discipline is very important for every child. You know, the way babies come, they want everything. Of course, that's how babies are. They cry, we, an we answer them, we attend to them, we rush for them. Yeah. But it gets to an age whereby we have to understand that we set limits for our children. We set boundaries, we throw boundaries in place, and there are consequences and rewards for everything that our children do. So once they understand that, so there's nothing like permissive parenting, like just leave them. Yeah. Or you promise to discipline and you don't discipline. At that point, you get inconsistent. Okay. And one thing with parents, one thing with discipline, Discipline is consistency and discipline. They go together. Mm. So you have to stay consistent, mm. you know, with discipline. So if you say that there's a consequence for a particular action, you have to go through with it. Yes, mm. you have to go through but it. But I guess <coughs> in, in, in this particular area, you have to set those boundaries ahead of time. Definitely. Before those things happen. Yes, ahead. Well ahead of time before they happen. Okay. And some, but some things just happen that you were not planning for. Mm. But one thing I realized is when it comes to discipline, we have to like, tell our children that, <coughs> excuse me, we have to instruct them ahead. For example, if they are going out to eat, you're telling them why they shouldn't do something. Mm. So when they go out and you say, okay, you're going to your neighbor's house, mm. I don't want you to eat there because mm. I'm training you. Mm. So if they're asking over there, that, why are you not eating? You're saying, we just finished eating and because my mom is training us with self-control, mm. she doesn't want us to eat there. So they already have the explanation before you yell at them in public? <laughs> no, really, you shouldn't, you shouldn't oh. yell at you know, you shouldn't yell at them mm. in public and mm. respect is one of that so mm. you know we need to respect our children you don't yell at them in public you mm. don't hit them you don't push them you don't embarrass them in public no matter what happens you wait till you get home okay. then you address it at home even if they are watching the television you don't switch it off without instructing them like five minutes before that, I'm going to switch off the television in five so it's just it's yeah. respect it's just it's respect, respect. It's just okay respect. now that's one thing I know that not a lot of parents <laughs> received when they were no, kids no, no, no. Um, <laughs> didn't you just really hate it when a parent would just come and take your toy Seriously. from you and you're like, mm, I was playing with that. Seriously. That was like so, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you're telling your child not to be rude, but then you rudely grab a so toy then, or, yes, or something. Reciprocal. Mm -hmm. We have to go on with the show now and uh, we still have quite a lot coming your way.